At some point in your math education, probably quite a while ago, you were introduced to graphing. And learning about graphing typically starts with making a table. And then plotting these points from the table onto a coordinate plane. And then you can draw your line or curve. Then as you advanced in your math education, you learned to recognize some of these graph trends. What are the general shapes for common types of relations? For example, it's common to start with linear relations or straight lines. And once we learned about the equation y equals mx plus b, we were able to quickly visualize and sketch these graphs. We start with a base graph, that is y equals x, and then we use our y-intercept, b, at the end here to shift that line up or down, in this case, by 3. Then we use the slope, m, to decide how steep that line is, in this case, a rise over run of 2. Now, if the slope was negative, it would drop to the right, or be reflected vertically. So after reviewing the general trends in linear graphs, that is degree 1, we're ready to consider similar trends in quadratic graphs, or degree 2. We'll note that quadratics are the focus of this unit. So let's go ahead and compare linear versus quadratic in some general ways. Now, we'll learn more about each aspect as we go along, but it's worth a quick preview so you can reflect on each as we go along. With quadratics, we can, again, graph with tables as we start to appreciate the general shape and trends. The base graph of the quadratic is y equals x squared. Again, we note that a number at the end here shifts the graph vertically, or up or down. In this case, it goes up by 3. Adding a number out front here, much like slope in a linear graph, impacts how rapidly the graph increases or decreases. And we also note that if it's positive, we have a big U shape. And if negative, we have a big N shape. But again, this is just reflecting vertically. So the general trends are very similar between linear and quadratic graphs. If we keep this in mind as we work through all the different aspects, we'll find them easier to remember.